One of the most frequently asked questions in PowerShell is, how can I make the shell do certain things every single time I open a new copy of PowerShell? For example, how can I make it automatically import some modules that I use all the time, or add some snap-ins, or map some PS drives? Well, here's the quick and dirty way to do it. Start in your Documents folder and create a folder called Windows PowerShell with no spaces. That folder does not exist by default. You will have to create it. Within that folder, just create a new text file and call it profile.ps1. Now, if the icon doesn't change, you've got to be a little careful. What happens a lot is Windows Explorer will get into this mode where it only displays the file name extensions for unknown file types. So we're going to have to say, do not hide extensions for known file types. You see it added that little TXT to the end? We need to take that off or PowerShell won't be able to find the profile. Now it's got the right icon, and this is something that PowerShell will automatically run every single time you open a new copy of the shell. So I'll come out here and exit that copy of the shell I already have running. Let's open this in, well, we'll just open it up in Notepad because I'm just going to add a little import module active directory. I'll save that, and now I'll open up a new copy of the shell. And when it does, you can see that it automatically loads that Active Directory module. So that's a way for me to automatically configure my PowerShell environment to be just the way I want it every single time I open a new shell. Now there's actually four different profile scripts that PowerShell looks for and runs automatically if they exist. You can learn more about them by running help about profiles. And it'll show you the locations and what each one is used for. This is a really, really useful trick and certainly something that you'll want to start using, especially as you begin using other modules and snap-ins.